morning dear friends it is a brand new day it is a joy for me to be with you during these few minutes of meditation may god the holy spirit speak to you and encourage you today's meditation titled work out your own salvation based on philippians chapter 2 verses 12 which says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling what is to be worked out your salvation apostle paul does not tell you work for, to work for your salvation that's not what he said salvation is not of works by any means let us look into this verse and to see what paul is teaching us salvation is the most invaluable blessing set before us what is salvation salvation is deliverance from sin had there been no sin sin there would have a needed no salvation having sinned man lost three very important things number 1 man lost the likeness of god in him and secondly man lost love for god and thirdly man lost life with god and these are the three basic things that connects us with god almighty into an intimate relationship and without this relationship with god the creator man simply cannot live a normal life and that is why today what do we think is a normal life is not really normal life you mean to say god created man to live a violent life a hateful life a life filled with hatred and unforgiveness and jealousy and killing and stealing and deceiving and murdering and all kinds of cruelty and uh, uh, these are not normal these are not normal they are all abnormal god has not created us to live in this manner this is something that you and i must understand but we man has been living with these things so so long that we have come to accept these things as normal and so if we talk about uh, uh, sexual immorality you know extramarital relationship or uh, teenage pregnancies and all these days people talk as if this is normal nothing uh, unusual about it No that is not the way God see it we are actually living an abnormal life and that's why there is a relation strain in our relationship and that is why we uh, we are divided and i pray having sinned man lost three very important things number 1 he lost likeness of god in him Number 2 he lost love for God and number 3 he lost life with God these are the three things that makes man and God connected and live in such a wonderful relationship and without this personal relationship with God almighty we cannot live a normal life that's the way man is created he has to have God he has to have a relationship with god and do what god wants it to do then only a normal life is possible today what do we see as life filled with jealousy and deception and uh, stealing and uh, murdering and killing and fighting and dividing and uh, pride and 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 arrogance and uh, Uh, fightings and all these things we we have been living with these things so long 
that uh, man has come to accept these things also as normal no that is not the way god created us he created us to live a good life a life of peace and righteousness and joy and uh, uh, accepting one another and forgiving one another and helping one another and uh, instead of deceiving helping uh, instead of stealing you contribute you give uh, that's the way we must live and that is gone because we have lost these three important things that would have kept us in relationship with god so salvation therefore means what salvation therefore means restoration of these blessings these things man cannot get them back of himself no matter how much we try our good works will never bring us back into such a relationship with god christ has secured them for man it is not by our works that we can again gain these blessings these good things in life it is not by our works we are not redeemed by our works or by our gifts in first peter chapter 1 verse 18 that's what it says we are redeemed not by the perishable things like silver or gold but by the imperishable and the precious blood of the lamb of god the blood of jesus christ and that's how we are redeemed that's why jesus died in order to restore these blessing to us it is through his death and resurrection and today his ministry is at the right hand of god the father interceding for us it is his ministry to us in this way that will restore these things to us again he has delivered us by redeeming us from the curse of sin which is laws of likeness of god and dominion of sin which is laws of love of god love for god and the consequences of sin which is loss of life with god all these losses resulted in separation from god and eternal punishment is the result salvation means reconciliation reconciliation is two warring parties coming together and entering into an agreement of peace that is reconciliation and for us it is regaining the eternal life with god these are the blessings of uh, salvation and jesus christ paid the price for such a salvation which is forgiveness of sin and thus we are acceptable to god again in a relationship these blessings are secured for uh, for us by the lord jesus christ by his death and resurrection and my friends the death of jesus christ is not ordinary accomplishment through that death the divine life began to flow into humanity the life stream of his blood and those who plunged themselves into that flow by faith i hope you understand this language it simply means trusting in the sacrifice of jesus christ on your behalf you depend on that nothing or none of your goodness but absolutely his work of uh, on the cross dying for you that we may be set free 
and let us go from the curse and the dominion of sin. You don't work for it. You don't earn it either. We are saved by grace, by faith. And the only way you and I can have it is to come to God in humility and uh, in repentance and opening our hearts to Jesus Christ, asking him to come in and make his residence within us. And that is the way we are reconciled. Again, a friendship begins. And so, our work of goodness will not accomplish it. Jesus Christ has accomplished it by paying the price for our salvation. And thus, we are saved by grace. We cannot boast anything we have done because nothing is acceptable to God except the blood of His Son, Jesus Christ. And so, God the Father accepts us in His beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And he works his salvation in you. That's the way you are saved. Now, what today's scripture means is this. What Christ has worked in you, now you work it out. So that the world may see the transformation and the change that has come upon your life. And now you are a new creation. What does it mean? First, it means working with all diligence to possess what Christ has secured for us. What did he secure for us? Forgiveness of sins, acceptance by God the Father, and thus a reconciliation was made possible. It is all God-initiated blessings. Salvation is not for the lazy and casual uh, people. You must do all that is within your power to obtain it. Obtain what? Not working for your salvation, but obtaining that favor of the Lord for your life. Because it is hard work to work out your salvation diligently. From John the Baptist, the kingdom of God, the Bible says, uh, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent people are entering it. And that is the meaning there. It is not lazy people who can obtain a good witness, a good testimony and the favor of the Lord by showing to the world the salvation that Jesus Christ has worked within you. And now it is for you to bring it out by living according to his will. Because no one can believe, nor repent and love God for you. That you yourself will have to do it. For you, you believe. For your forgiveness, you repent. Your father or mother repenting for you is not accepted. It doesn't work that way. And uh, Satan will do everything possible and his best effort to stop you from entering into the kingdom of God and into a relationship with the Son of God. Always remember that. And the secondly, it means once this salvation is in you, you now display its qualities in your daily life. 
that is the meaning of work outing your salvation always on me let me re- remind you one more time apostle paul does not tell them work out for your salvation but it is working out the change that the holy spirit has brought in you through your daily living displaying the new nature new character and salvation means restoration of god's likeness and god's likeness is his holiness his character the bible also the apostle paul talks about the fruit of the spirit in galatians bring forth the fruit of the holy spirit and what is the fruit there are nine things mentioned there it doesn't mean there are nine fruit but nine wonderful qualities of this one fruit fruit is one that's why i say the fruit of the spirit and what is this you put all nine things together what do you get the character of jesus christ in all his perfection and that is what is what it means so god's likeness is his holiness in display Salvation is a restoration of love for God and it is also life with God and my friends it is your own salvation you need to work out not another salvation your salvation is your own business not someone else's salvation let your light shine we are often try to work out to someone else's salvation while ignoring to work out our own salvation we all are expert you know while a big beam is sitting on our eyes we are trying to see the speck of someone else's eyes and try to pick it up this is our nature and we don't have to do that and so apostle paul says other salvation is not your business your business is your own salvation and give attention to your own uh, life and its growth work out your own salvation and grow to the whole measure of the fullness of christ work it out that you may grow to the full and to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ that's what it means and when that happens Jesus Christ will shine forth his light in you and through you this is what it means to work out your salvation so give all the diligence all the attention to your own salvation and through that salvation power let the light of Jesus Christ to begin to shine in you and through you and this is God's will live in the fullness of Christ may the favor of the lord be with you in Jesus name